Well, before the, uh, the National State Bill came uh, into existence this past week, um, there were 65 laws which discrim already discriminated against Palestinian citizens living within Israel itself and within uh, the occupied Palestinian territories. So Israel already had big elements of apartheid anyway, but this law has helped to further enshrine apartheid into mm -hmm. law. Those Palestinians which were already marginalized are sought to be even further marginalized now. Um, and this has given the green flag for Israel to continue its crimes against the Palestinians and to uphold Jewish supremacy. Can I say you just come back from the West Bank, haven't you? I know this law applies to Israel, not to the occupied territories. Um, but can you kind of uh, just recount some of your experiences in terms of Israel, how Israeli apartheid kind of you know, impacts on the West Bank areas like that? So I was actually in uh, one of the most difficult situations uh, in the West Bank, which is Al Khalil, Hebron. Um, it's unlike any other situation in the West Bank where you have Israeli settlers living inside the actual city and protected by over a thousand um, Israeli soldiers. Mm. Um, there are many areas in Al Khalil, Hebron where um, people can't go, Palestinians can't go, they can't drive down, they can't walk down, children have to go through checkpoints. Um, the level of racism and discrimination is um, it's unheard of. Uh, you have to go there to see it. Um, it's, it's abhorrent. Yeah. Laura, Israel says it's the only democracy in the Middle East. It says that it's, you know, it's a secular state, all citizens are equal, etc. That's not true, is it? Not true at all. No. Um, in a way, I agree with one of the um, Palestinians that were interviewed there that in in one sense, this is positive because it, it, the state of Israel is further exposing itself um, and its racism. 